27.A mixed numbers and conversions. A mixed number is merely a whole number plus a fraction. So this means if I have something like three and five eighths, it's really just meaning three plus five eighths. To change a mixed number to a fraction, we need to multiply the whole number and the denominator and then add the numerator to that. Then to change a fraction to a mixed number, we merely divide. The remainder is going to be our new numerator. Also, remember that you always keep the same denominator. And this applies to both changing mixed number to fraction or fraction to mixed number. The denominator should never change. Let's look at example one. In the first example, we convert five and nine elevenths to a fraction. Remember, to convert to a fraction, we're going to be working in a clockwise motion, starting at the denominator and working our way around to the numerator. Let's rewrite it over here to see this a little bit more clearly. We are going to start by doing five times eleven. And five times eleven is fifty-five. So that was our first step. We then work our way around and we add nine, which means we add nine to the fifty-five and this is going to give us sixty-four. This is our new numerator, which means we have sixty-four over eleven because we never change the denominator. Sixty-four elevenths is the same as five and nine elevenths. Let's look at example two next. In example two, we're converting this fraction to a mixed number. Remember, we simply do this by dividing. Remembering that the fraction bar actually means divide. So we have seventy-three divided by twelve. Let's write this as a long division problem. Twelve goes into seventy-three six times. Six times two is twelve, six times six is one, plus one is seventy-two. And we have a remainder of one. Now we have to determine which of these pieces is which. The six is how many times it went in, so that's how many whole pieces there are. There are six whole pieces. Next, we look at the remainder. The remainder was one. This is how many pieces were left over. So we have one out of twelve. Twelve is the number of whole pieces we had. Remember, the denominator should never change from the original. We started with twelve and we ended up with twelve. So our answer is six and one twelfth. Remember when converting between mixed numbers and fractions, you must follow some rules. Changing a mixed number to a fraction, you multiply the whole number in the denominator and then you add in the numerator. Then, if you're changing a fraction to a mixed number, you simply use long division, where the whole number gets written, the remainder it becomes the new numerator, and in both cases, the denominator never changes. 